Hello there people, this is Christian, welcome back to my computer and Fusion for 60 and this bunch of arcs. So this is a slightly interesting workflow. We're going to create these arcs with some features. So I'll use a lot of feature and very limited sketches. You can take this even further and make it even more stupid. I have done that in other videos where I may also might make uh, like the number of arcs uh, parametric. I will not do that in this one. So we're going to focus on how to make this. And where does this start? We started with the Reddit question. Let's have a look at that. So here are... The question was based on how do I can I combine sketches like this and because the timeline you jump back you lose I think the user here started by creating these circles and then created the lines here that's a bit hard to see what to combine them and done everything in sketches you can do something let's jump back to model you can do something like this in sketches but it gets quite complicated fast and let's also have a look here and we can hide now, but I see another problem with sketches. If you have a look here, we can see we have dimension, 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 and these you have the same spacing the whole time, and that means you should use some type of parameter or reuse things. You have a lot of lines like these, these are like basically offsets, and it gets confusing very rapidly, in my opinion, and not super effective for fusion. And we also lose the ability by doing some bit of planning before we start sketching everything. We can get a model where we can change things like the spacing. Or we can change the width, width or depth of things or the width for cuts. Like they had, I added width to the tabs. And another thing about the design, I hope you got this correctly. The tabs are supposed to have parallel faces like this. So this is like a slot securing tab. And let's go back to the radial dimension. I think these are the dimensions closest to what I could find in the sketch pictures. And there's also a cross in the middle. I had jumped over that one. The important things are the arc. So let's jump over to an empty design and start by creating a sketch. Do we do it from the top? We're looking from the top. I'm gonna create a rectangle center point. We need to start with some type of uh, solid body to work with from my understanding of this uh, let's jump back to the design this is supposed to be used like a stencil or something for a painting or some some type of use like that go back here uh, we're gonna make a square so we're gonna make the two sides equal we're gonna hit d for dimension and i'm gonna start naming some dimension so square side and i can't spell equals oh i only done square side no where, why don't you like a square side? There we are. And uh, let's do 100. So we have a square with the side 100. I'm gonna finish sketch. E for extrude, add three millimeters thickness. Yeah, that's nice. Open up our browser. I've auto hide turned off the sketches. So I need to hide the sketch by hand. One sketch, one feature, very simple. Now let's start working on arcs. Go back to our model here. So I'm going to start with the arc that's closest to the center. This is this one here. And of course, a bit easier because these two uh, tabs here is horizontal and vertical. And we have one, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to hide the body. I'm going to create a sketch on the top. Once again, I'm going to make two lines. These are lines for the tabs. I'm going to do one horizontal. And I'm going to do a line vertical. I'm going to make these two lines equal. So I create the line. I hit escape in between to stop the line command. And L again to start the line command again. So I will not tell you every key you need to press in Fusion. You need to do some basic tutorials or beginners to understand how you use the software. This is a workflow video. D for dimension. I'm going to make this line uh, half of the square side. So square side parameter divided by 2. Why did I, did I do that? That's a small reminder for myself. We turn on the body. If I keep the arcs inside of this line, I will not be beyond the dimensions of the body. Just a simple uh, sanity check for myself. We're going to do some arc. Create arc. We're going to do center point arcs. We're going to use the center point. I'm going to have a look at some of the sketch tool for the funnel. So I'm going to start with center point. Start here. Go over to here. It's very simple. We're going to do five arcs. Let's say I by mistake do like this. And maybe I do the next one like this. One, two, three. Uh, four. 
and let's say I make this correctly just for fun of this. You happen to draw lines to or beyond things. You have some easy tools here. So I'm going to trim this one. This is beyond. That is beyond. I need to extend that one. So I'm going to use the extend tool like uh, that. You can see fusion as constraints and everything for us. So we're going to start adding some dimension now. So the first dimension is going to be from the center point to the first arc. And come on dimension this here you can simply do it like that as hit the arc sorry i clicked wrongly it now wants to add a radius and in the sketches i saw this was with the uh, diameter so i'm going to right click and say i want this as a diameter and that was 16.5 and i was supposed to name that dimension so i'm going to go back and do that later you see i only sketch one arc i do not do any offsets I'm going to do the dimension from here to here. That was 4.25. So this is like the spacing in a pattern. Here is going to be the same dimension. So I do not type it. I just click the previous dimension. Do the next one. This means that the first dimension here, 4.25 with D7, will be driving the rest of the dimensions. Like that. And as I said, I forgot to name this one, so I'm going to go up to the parameters up here. I'm going to open up, open up our second uh, the sketch three. Is happy. I, I was playing around earlier, so I lost some things here. So this here is going to be inner arc D for diameter, like that. I'm going to name it, and I'm going to make it a favorite so I can use it later. This is my arc spacing. Do the same, make it a favorite. So I'm gonna hit OK. I think I have all dimension I have. I have a fully constrained sketch. Nothing is moving around. So I'm gonna finish sketch. So we are supposed to go back here. We're gonna do some cuts here. I like to work, but some people sometimes just ask a question. Do the Boolean operation. Yeah, we're gonna do Boolean. We're gonna make uh, new bodies and then we're gonna do the combine at the end. So we're gonna do E for extrude, but we will jump over to thin extrude select our five arcs distance i'm going to do to object turn on our body click the top face and then hide the body again and fusion will automatically jump over to new bodies I'm going to have a look from the top so that the extending through is correct you can see the slightly dark line here is on the wrong side so i'm going to tell it it's going to be on side two and I think the thickness was 0 0.75, like that. So we have like a bunch of bodies. So now we need to do the parallel cut off of the cuts here because now they are connected to these uh, horizontal vertical lines. So once again, I'm going to do extrude. I'm going to now select these two lines. Same here, distance to object. I can now simply select the top face of this here up to here. You can see it already does a cut for simplicity remembering. So I want to dimension the width of the slot. So I'm going to tell Fusion do this on the center. And I'm going to make these 1.5. Hit OK. It's going to do cuts. And now we have, I'm going to hide the sketch. Now we have these little bodies. And you can see if I turn on the sketch that they are now parallel cut away from these two lines. And do I want to do anything more? Ah, not for now. We're going to see to combine things to get down the cuts. So we're going to do a combine, select our target body, select these the tool bodies and change that to cut. Hit OK. We have done one fourth. So S on the keyboard, find circular pattern, circular pattern. I want to do a circular pattern of bodies. No, I want to do it of feature. Select the combine feature select the axis and let's see we can full fusion today if i want to do three no i want to do four could do adjust but for fun i'm going to do it optimize i'm going to do a pattern of faces basically the faces created by this should work let's see if it works yes it works if it fails sometimes you need to change the compute option here in let's go back to the pattern the compute type can needs to be changed sometimes to get it to work so we have made the first one here uh, but I added two things with my extrude commands, the width of arc and the width of the tab. So I would like to make them into parameters because I will use them in the next step. So this here, this is the arc cut width. That's the width of a cut, a cuts we're making. 
like make a favorite and we have this so this is my tab with like that make it a favorite check the star and okay so now i'm gonna hide the body again create a new sketch on this plane here gonna make some lines so we previously let's talk about the body again we are now made the ones here now like make the ones that's in between and i would like to make them very far off from the previous sketch so i can turn on both sketch if i turn off this sketch here hide this i don't want to make them somewhere so the sketch becomes overlapping i like to put them to the side over here i'm going to have a look at one more fun thing we can do hide body hide sketch turn on my latest sketch i'm going to do the line i'm going to do the three lines you're going to do this one we are going to do the line straight out i'm going to need that for the dimensioning and a line down here all these three lines are going to select all of them and make them equal and i'm going to do the dimension of one of them let's do it on this one that's going to be our previous square side once again divided by two could pick up another dimension i want to do that uh, and i want to add some dimensions to this so i'm going to dimension we could use yeah we're going to make it perpendicular so this of course is going to be perpendicular and the dimension from here to here to move it outside it's going to be 45 degrees the line in the middle here is just to help me with dimensions. It's going to turn that into a construction line. Once again, we're going to do arc. S, arc. S key is very powerful to find things. I want to do the center point arc. Select the center point from here to here. I will try to be a good user and click on the lines. But if I miss, I show you the trim and then stand commands how you can make these work let's see one two three let's make one small in here inside here four and five like that so the first one here this uh, is going to dimension like a radius and this needs to be our inner arc di diameter plus the arc spacing and all of that divided by two we can have a check if we turn on our previous sketch here we can see that this arc that's a good thing with uh these helplines for dimension sometimes i'm going to turn off sorry turn on the dimension command turn on that sketch again you can see that okay this looks correct we are in between the other arcs here so that's good so we're going to start dimension from point to point make sure it becomes aligned and that's our arc spacing now i used it once so i can do now i can do the dimension here and I can simply click on this dimension and we can then use for the same dimension over and over. Let's see, we've done the correct number of, sorry, that dimension. One, two, three, four, five. You start to see the pattern here. We can hide the previous sketch. So now you see why I made them like in two different sectors so they don't overlap, makes it easier to see. I'm going to make one more thing. Let's go back here. I know I will only use thin extrude. I will not extrude profiles. So I can do a bit of a cheeky thing within SketchUp. It's a thing that you sometimes do by mistake. I can hide profiles. I don't need the profiles. I only need the lines. But you have to remember if you do this, you can't extrude profiles from this sketch. You can see this sketch has no price. So the previous sketch still has its profiles. And I can also go back to this because I did not use the profiles. I can hide profiles. Do like that it makes it a bit less flashy on the screen you know profiles are flashing the whole time you move the mouse over now i only have the edges to select so e for extrude switch over to thin extrude select our little lines uh, distance to objects to turn on our body select the top face hide the body so it doesn't cut it creates new bodies the wall thickness that was our arc, arc cut width so we can now pick up let's have a look from the top was it on the correct side no once again fusion puts on the wrong size we're going to switch it over to side two i'm going to hit okay you can hide the previous sketch now it's a bit easier to see e for extrude once again thin extrude these two line now we had need to have it on the center distance to object let's step select the top face of our little slot our top, uh, slot here and the width in this case was our tab width. Turn on our first body. 
use the combine tool, select the target body, select the tool bodies, select cut, I'm pleased, hide the sketch, S on the keyboard, circular pattern, circular pattern. What do we want a pattern? We want a pattern feature, our combine feature, once again around the blue Z axis, and four times and optimized. And like that, we have created. And for safety now, I'm going to do a save before we start playing around parameters. So now we're going to check, does our parameters work? We should now have most of our parameters up here. For fun, let's make this 200. Doesn't break the model. Can we do the center 50? Yes, I guess go back to 16.5. Oh, sorry. That one's 16.5. So this is why I spent the time setting up a model. You might know exactly what you want to do, but if you do 3D printing like, you, like I do, you know in a lot of cases we need to go back and change things. Uh, maybe this is supposed to be one millimeter. This should be five millimeters. So you can see I can change all the parameter as much as I want. And also a small thing by doing like this. So let's say now, let's look from the top. We have these really sharp corners. Let's say I want to add a fillet to all these corners here. By using features, it opens up the possibility to use what a feature within fillets are called ruled fillets. On the F on the keyboard, uh, you have a type in normally just says fillet, but you can change it to rule fillet. And it asks about all edges. So what's going to do? So let's, let's do all edges. So we're going to do it on what cut uh, what feature did the cut to the solid body that this combine is this circular pattern it's this combine here and this circular pattern now uh, topology needs to be changed it normally says it's rounds and fillets fillets are the inside radius routes are the outside on very soft and sharp edges i don't want to do that i only want to put fillets on the inside so i'll switch this to fillets only and now I can do radius something like 0 0.3, if it's possible. You can see it adds a filler to all of the slots at the same time, with no need to select every specific uh, uh, slot that I made. It's going to be a pain selecting all these edges. So I'm going to hit OK. For the fusion, do some thinking. As an overview, I can still change things. Now we have to remember I added a filler here, so we can't make the arc cut width too small. When it will fail, but I can still change things. Let's say I want to add the space into six again. Takes a bit more time. Let's make more things to calculate for fusion. I can make the arc cast wider. And the fillet still works out here. So that's the power of using a feature. Oh, it well, looks like a nice fan grid. So I hope you have found something useful in this video. I'm going to save my file so I don't forget that. And with that said, Take care, see you around, and goodbye.